Isabella, how do you like your wieners? Dark, tasty, with lots of cream sauce. Hmm. What about you? I like all beef, juicy jumbos. <sighs> wait, wait, what are we talking about again? Oscar Mayer wieners. Oh yeah. <laughs> what were you talking about? Oscar Mayer wieners, of course. <laughs> okay. Which is part of today's odds and ends, so let's get started. Let's do it. I'm Isabella Rossini. And I'm Frankie Kennedy. Let's go. Woo! Wieners! A couple got married at the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile in Las Vegas. Oh, I wish I was married in an Oscar Mayer wiener. <laughs> I would totally do this because it's something kind of like cool and tacky that no one else would do. For me, it would only work if Oscar Mayer Wiener had some sort of role in their relationship. Maybe they met at a hot dog eating contest. Yeah, something like that. But otherwise, it's just kind of tacky. Yeah, Huge. I don't know if I'd want this to be my first, maybe maybe a, like a renewal, a vow renewal, something cool in Vegas. Yeah. Sure, but yeah, I think maybe thinking about it now, I would want like a more classy wedding. Yeah. Anyway, their own. So Oscar Mayer offered a pop-up promotion to allow a wedding at the Wienermobile of Love. <laughs> okay. Cassandra Lewis and Patrick Carney jumped at the opportunity. An Oscar Mayer hot dogger performed the ceremony featuring many hot dog puns in the vow. Oh my god, like I love that. It's so funny. <laughs> okay. I mean, Las Vegas is the place to go if mm -hmm. you want wild, crazy weddings, so it's fitting. Can you believe I've never been to Vegas? I know. I know. I can't believe it either. I feel like I belong there. Yeah, you have to go. <laughs> you would just go and, see, like, you'd get arrested. I think I might not come back. <laughs> so the lucky couple's first date actually featured a Wienermobile in South Dakota. Okay, see? Now I'm on board. Okay. Their first date was at a Wienermobile. Now it makes sense. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hoping also on that first day she got some of his Wienermobile mm. later. I hope all they had to eat was not Oscar Mayer wieners. Yeah. Like, yeah. Italians would just get up and leave. We would not be okay. So this is kind of dark. I don't know what to think about this, but a Florida high school psychology teacher had his class write their own obituaries, which is yeah. super creepy. Isabella was an amazing girl. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but this is why he did this. He told them to imagine they were in an active shooter situation and reflect on their lives. Which is a big thing happening in the States. This is crazy. Like, why are we talking about this? I know. Like, it's actually really sad, but here I am, like, laughing because yeah. I don't know how else to react. It's ridiculous. He was fired within hours, which I honestly... <laughs> yeah, There's so maybe a little bit of an over... Reaction to that? I mean, I had some pretty insane teachers. I had a teacher throw a chair at me and he didn't get fucking fired. And I was like in <laughs> elementary school. I had a teacher who used to call out everybody who would fail their math quiz. Oh. So it would literally be everybody who failed, come see me. And those who failed are. Oh my God. Isabella. That is all. And what he didn't get fired. Balenciaga released a huge tote bag with a sleeve and glove instead of a handle. Okay, I know it looks a little ridiculous, but I really do love this idea, and I'll tell you why. Whenever I'm wearing a jacket or a sweater, like whenever I'm not bare armed, which is like eight months of the year in Canada, um, my purse and bags are always falling off, and it's so fucking annoying. So I feel like if the purse had the sleeve in it like that, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, it's but do you really want to walk around looking like that? It's a little. It's a little much, but you know, it's it is more like functional than the other shit Balenciaga has been coming out with lately. Yeah, the bag is worn <laughs> over the shoulder with the arm inserted through a hole into a full length glove. Yeah. I would just feel so weird walking around with like my purse attached to me. It, it's just weird looking. And it can only be used on the right shoulder and arm. No, I like my purse on my right and I'm right handed. Yeah. So I like to just go in and grab stuff. But then you have oh. that free. Your arm is free. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> not a good idea. Never mind, I take it back. That's all for this week in Odds and Ends. But let me guess, you still want more of our great content. Well, you're in luck. Just like this video and subscribe to our channel. And bam, you'll get notified whenever we share a new clip. So get clicking and we'll see you again soon.